So uh, just a uh, wee uh, roll call here, we've got the man, the legend, Gregor. Aye, <laughs> yeah. And obviously we've got the man, the legend himself, uh, Callum. And then of course we've got Vinny's drink reviews. <laughs> but we're honoured, we've got the cyclist beer hybrid master. <laughs> we've got Keith Hannah. All right, troops. Hope we're all well. Started off in a Loriston on this video. Great artwork. Better pints. Let us know in the comments, because arguably one of the best pubs in Scotland. I was joined by Vinny at the beginning. Do love you, Vinny. We then decided to take the subway up to the West End, where we went to Indeep. Great location, right beside Kelvin Grove Park. And then we met a couple of the troops. Man. So we've got a friend from Instagram, we've got Callum Drinks Cla Craft. How are you guys? Uh, I can't even say craft mate, that's uh, <laughs> kind of indicative of oh, how good a day it's been so far. Four or five so far. Welcome Callum, joined by the rest of the troops here, as you see, on our way up to the end deep again. Brilliant location, for me the start of the show was Kernel. It was a stunning draft, we were joined by Gareth from Apoco. Got some uh, great chat with Gareth. Uh, look out for what he's got coming up soon. His beers are phenomenal. Keith, firstly, we've been at Indeep tonight. Can I just ask you what you thought, thought of Indeep tonight? We had a really nice, uh, we had some really nice beers. Just a good, good chat. Nice to meet some new people. Pretty noisy in there. Uh, I, think, I, felt we, <laughs> I felt double. We think we doubled the average age in the in the in the place. But uh, it's great to get just get some nice. Not like extreme beers, just like a pint of Kernel, a pint of Fallon, a pint of uh, Cromarty. Just a kind of beers you can set up a pint and a chat round. A bit of good wee catch up with Gareth from uh, Epoco, which was a bonus. It's just nice, sunny evening. That's that's what it's all about, isn't it? Hardly worth a drink in deep. Um, I was on Kernel, which was quite nice. Um, very rarely do you get that on draft in Glasgow. Um, they've also got bottles of Duchess de Bourgogne, which I thought would be a good idea. It was not. <laughs> Do not drink vinegar before pale ales, doesn't work. Um, and then we had we as a group tribute to Fallon. We did. They're now not, no longer here. That was good. That was uh, a nice one. So Callum, uh, I'm just going to ask you, I mean, uh, have you got any kind of favourite other pubs in Glasgow you like to frequent? Uh, I'm not one for going out to pubs, actually, because um, I, I stay over in East End, I can't really out much, but if I was to pick somewhere, it would probably be either Indeep or Coalship. Good or choices. Or Southside, just good. Pubs, good folk, not too busy. I can't really complain. Brilliant. I still just enjoy going up to Grunt and Growler for a wee, a wee sit down. Um, I mean, I've got two young kids now, so pub visits aren't great for me, so we, we tend to go family, family friendly, so, you know, Occasionally we get a wee trip over the coal ship, which is amazing, but doesn't happen that often these days. So for me, unfortunately, house drinking <laughs> tends to dominate. But can uh, it be a wee bit of house drinking, can we, lads? Uh, it's secret drinking in the lobby. But, you know, I've been allowed <laughs> out tonight, so we're going to, I think we're going to try and get some cast beer and stuff like that. Uh, so we're looking at things like State Bar and maybe, uh, where else are we going? Get, what was, where are we going? Uh, what, tonight? Bonacord. 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 That's the one. Ah. I drive past it all the time, can't remember the name of it. So, Old Pickle, you're yeah. indeed. Um, Any uh, Glasgow breweries you'd like to do a wee shout out to? <laughs> or, or, or outside, or no outskirts. Scottish, I mean, we'll give you Scottish. Scottish, ah, uh, there's such a variance. Like, I know we had Gareth out, and yep. honestly, for a one or two man show, the parkour has just been fantastic. Yeah. Um, if I'm picking Glasgow breweries, obviously you need to shout Overtone. Dan and Charlie and all that have been just fantastic. Um, I can't really think. Um, if we're going slightly outside of Glasgow, New Barns have been fantastic. Um, yeah. I know they were they were talking about it earlier, looking for keg only, but pandemic hit. They were going for uh, off license stuff, going for can stuff. Just been incredible. It is. Um, it is. And whole Scottish beer scene's changed in the last five, six years since I've been to it, which um, is really good. Agreed. I've been really enjoying a lot of overtone lately, just, you know, right through from session stuff right up to the big stuff, uh, dead end for the special stuff, you know, the crazy stuff. Like I say, Apoco I think has been some amazing stuff lately, the funky, again, not not going that kind of wild, having to chuck loads of 
adjuncts in it. It's just nicely made stuff. Uh, you know, we've, we've talked about Fallon tonight. It's a shame to see them go. Mm. Um, but no, I think, I think the, oh, just the variety we've got now compared to 10 years ago were absolutely treated. Absolutely treated. And can you just ask as well for the troops, same as you're the newest member of the cult of uh, Bill Combrenny's podcast, um, have you got... I forgot what I was going to ask you, mate. Uh, <laughs> I can't even mind since right, you right, so now. the last question was going to be, um, uh, what was it going to be? What was it going to be? No, I know what it is. Right. And the last question, Callum, is uh, why should people come to Glasgow for a wee night out? I'm going to go back to an old Frankie Boyle thing. The people in Glasgow are friendly but not civil. The people in Edinburgh are civil but not friendly. If you ask somebody in Glasgow for directions, they're like, ah, hey, fucking, come on, you. And they'll take you by the hand. And that, Glasgow's just a big community. Um, no matter if you're, I mean, the big division just now is Rangers and Celtic. Whatever. You're just one of them and exactly. that's just a sense of community and I love it good mate well Glasgow loves having you um, thanks a lot Callum and uh, we'll link to Callum and uh, we'll try and get him when he's pissed later on as well <laughs> alright um, is there a reason why you would recommend Glasgow as a place to come and have a wee drink do a wee pub crawl well at the moment we're standing on the path at the River Kelvin and from here we can have some of the best food I have I mean I, 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 I've been to some nice European cities, some nice American cities. You get some of the best food you can ever imagine. You can go for a nice pint, you can go for some special beers, you can treat yourself, and you're guaranteed you sit down and you'll meet somebody you just want to sit and have a chat with and just enjoy yourself. And you know, you can't beat that. That's what it's all about, isn't it? That is indeed, and I have to say, you are one of those guys, Keith. It's <laughs> been a pleasure meeting you tonight. So, uh, listen, I think it's about time we maybe kicked on to the, the next bar. Which yeah. actually I think is going to be my back garden for a, a cheeky sample or something, so... Well, hey! <laughs> yes, Emperor's Brewing! Can you believe this? Oh, so excited to try this! And I'm telling you, it did not disappoint! Whereabouts did you get these, Gregor? Uh, oh, I go to Optimism for all my uh, Emperor's needs. Uh, yeah. Ad, no. Hashtag ad, hashtag ad. <laughs> <laughs> Unpaid <laughs> promotion. Uh, no, no, Rob at Optimism's uh, one of the, the greatest guys ever. And uh, he gets first dibs on all the Optimism beers, all the uh, Emperor's beers. So if you're ever at a loss and looking for an Emperor's beer, speak to Rob at Optimism and he'll sort you out. He's also got plenty of other good beers in there as well. These beers were just tannable, tangable, anything you want to say, they were just fucking brilliant, so they were. Although I will point out, I was lucky to get some, because if you look at this video right now, I'm, I'm in the glass nearest the uh, camera. Gre Gregor! Gregor! Forget that. Where, where's my Gregor? We're in, uh, we're in Keith's back door. It's the most Excuse exclusive me? drinking <laughs> <laughs> The most exclusive drinking den in the West End, I think you'll find is well, That is exactly it. And uh Gregor's... getting his back door smashed right in the <laughs> yeah, man, isn't he? <laughs> the right ultimate right. speakeasy. That's us. <laughs> I, I would say Gregor is the, the greatest provider of beer and the worst pourer of beer I've ever met. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll so, take that. So Gregor, I have to say thank I you can't very count. much. You can't count, but what you can do is bring the finest of beers. That's um, that's because of Damien and Optimism. Yep. Can you tell us just about the first two beers we've sampled there? So we've had the... Uh, we've, we've been going through the Castle Rock and Emperor's collabs, the Storm and the Emperor's Castles. The first one was the uh, Bourbon Barrel aged with Peruvian cacao. Uh, it was very liqueur-like, I think we all agreed. It was, it was yep. thick and it was uh, boozy and it was kind of... Aye. You couldn't drink a whole bottle of that yourself, I don't think. It was quite hard going, quite rich. Yeah, drink all of that. Uh, but easily, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the rum barrel aged with ta Tahitan vanilla pods was smooth as Keith's arse. <laughs> it was smooth as the labels on the bottles. Beautiful, man. Uh, so easy to drink. <laughs> Tanned it. Utterly tannable. Utterly sessionable. 
you'd probably kill you if you searched it, but 14%. That's easily tannable, man. Would you say that, Callum, about the, what's been your favourite so far? We've got one more to go. I'd probably go for the rum one. Yeah, I would agree with you. Uh, yep. And can Easy I also just fun. say, it's been po mm. uh, opened to perfection from the real man, the I real mean, legend. Greg, I made a bit of an arse out of it, so I guess I'll <laughs> You've always got to spoil it, haven't you, Vinny? I'm trying to get on Greg will say, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out here to our absent friend tonight, Alex Clooney. Uh, right. uh, who's in the group chat with the boys? Let's say Alex. Uh, uh, hey, so, Alex. Uh, what, what, how would you describe that being there? Nami. <laughs> 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 Gregor, thank you and so much. Can we just uh, just talk about how good that last beer was there? Uh, to me, it was very spirit forward, very light on the stoutiness, but very spirit forward for me. No cherries left in it, but that's probably because it's been lying about for so long. Uh, cherries die out, don't they, after a while? Uh, but for me, it was my favourite out of three of them. Uh, it had just had that lovely fruity cognaciness to it uh, that I like. As, and can I just say, as a kind of mad guy that doesn't really know anything about um, beers, um, I have to just say this. Uh, it's got that. See, I've been waiting for a wee bit of wood. And see that? You see love that? a bit of wood, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it just has, uh, after it's all just washed down and it just gives you that tiny bit of, of wood. And we were talking about. Uh, Hey, mommy, etc. It's just a stunning, stunning, stunning yeah, beer. So, what part? What, what part of the brewing process does that come? What part of the brewing process does that come from, Belko? Please, can you can you explain the where yes, the umami comes from? Uh, the umami. Well, it's obviously an overall process. If you talk yeah. about a hint of wood at the end, that's because of the barrel uh, fermentation. Because there's uh, wood in the barrel. Yes, the wood right. in the barrel. Obviously, it's also it's been sitting in Greg's cupboard. Oh, so, you, so you reckon the wood of the cupboard has affected the, the, the taste of the beer? Is that what you're saying? I don't like this, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have with that one, Vinny, because you look so good in this picture, pal. So we doddled on up to Glasgow's finest, the Bonacord. Needs no introduction. And I'll just pass you on to Rab, who works there, who just sums it up. Perfectly. I give this a listen. So we're in the Bon Accord and I have been talked into buying a Guinness. Because uh, I did have one at Lauriston by Rab. Now uh, Rab, you do look, you actually look better in the camera than what you did in real life, Rab. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> uh, all talking aside, do us a favour, but tell us a wee bit about the Bon Accord, mate. Okay, so the Bon Accord's been around for two years. been taken over by the uh, McDonough family for 20. Uh, we specialise in real ales and whiskey. Uh, we do over a thousand different ales a year. We have 600 bottles of whiskey in the gantry, including Britain's most expensive bottle of whiskey, uh, the Ada Licence Bar in McKellar 72, which you can get for £5,000 a gram. Uh, I'll have Vinnie, uh, Vinnie's buying those. <laughs> Uh, well, it, is, it is very good. Now, can you tell me how you take pride in your Guinness as well, please? As a, as a Guinness drinker, um, yeah, the trick for Guinness is how you pour it. If you ever pour a bit of Guinness, you have a branded glass, aim for the heart. That's usually the best way to get it down. When it goes to blow, the heart starts to straighten up and then let it just stay, settle till it turns to this colour and then top up just by gently pressing the forward. But I will, uh, can I just ask you as well, what would be your most popular uh, kind of lager, ale, kind of cask? Well, Dukas and Kerrigy are kind of like our mainstay ones, they're on all the time. But right now we've got Old Peculiar, I think it's because of the ABV that it's so popular rather than the actual taste <laughs> <Yeah>. of that. <laughs> um, but we've also got things like Neck Oil uh, by Beaver Town in London, that's been very popular. Uh, particularly with students, that's very popular. But over in our honest fridge, just over there, we've got over a lot of overtone beers. Um, so that's also very popular. So you do cater for everybody in here, don't you? Yeah, Rob, thanks very much. No problem. <laughs> I'm going to break all these glasses. Now you can tell if you've done a shift in the water court. Hey! So there you go, that's how you do a shift in the bonnet court. And by the way, you get invited behind the bar. You don't just go... Big massive props to the Bon Accords. Obviously, Vinny, Callum, Keith, and the absolute legend that is Gregor. See you soon, troops. <laughs>